Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and tonight we're playing some Lumber Tycoon 2. Of course, like that's that's what I do. I play Lumber Tycoon 2. I love Roblox. I love this game. This is one of my favorite games in the entire Robloxian universe. Um, so the moment I came in in a public server, I got surrounded like, "Hello, how are you? Hello!" So big shout out, hellos to Mike Cool Two Three Four. Two, three, four, five, two, one, and to uh, Prince Novino, no, Novino, and to Zeus Volts, and to everyone else that's inside the server, Cat Lover two four zero one and Y I D T K. I think that's it. Is that everyone? That's everyone. Okay, cool. So thank you guys for showing up and for hanging out and just being awesome. Um, didn't really have a plan for tonight, but I did have an idea throughout the day. And I'm not sure how it would work for the person buying, but I definitely know how it would work for the person selling. And that's a vending machine, an actual working vending machine where you take a piece of wood for such amount of value, you drop it in and there will be wood detectors that will detect if uh, the wood is in a, in a certain like length, width, stuff like that. It'll open up a door let it in through the conveyor, shut the door, and then verify it again on the opposite side. Once it's verified a second time, it'll put it through the sawmill. Once it's through the mill, it'll get verified a third time on the opposite side to make sure that that length of wood was to whatever perspective. If it's valid on the opposite side, it will open up a hatch and drop out an ax, or drop out another piece of wood, or drop out something. Now, this doesn't really work because you would have to be whitelisted like that person would have to whitelist you so you could do it. In which case, if you whitelisted the person so they could pick up the ax, then they would be able to just basically open up the, um, open up the, <laughs> he's like smacking him in the face. Whack, whack. Aw, poor guy. <laughs> they would be able to move the walls and to change everything anyway. So it's still not really a valid point, but I still want to see if it would work. So let's get started. Um, and you could stack it. So like you could have one drop down on top of this one and then like here, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what the idea behind it would be like, um, let's drop that right there and let's drop this right here. I'm probably not going to go through an entire build about it. Oh gosh. These have to be upside down. Uh, rotate, 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 rotate. Nope. Turn, turn. Yeah, these have to be upside down in order for this to work. So, move like that. So, you would have all your axes stacked up in here like this. Let's say, um, let's say you have an alpha axe vendor. Do -do -do -do. Let's grab this one. Excuse me, guy. Oh gosh, sorry, that was an axe right to the head. Oh gosh, is he okay? You okay, buddy? Well, you got a little red on your shirt. That's okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's drop this right here. Zeus is like, can I have a fire axe? Uh, I'm going to say no. Uh, sorry, no. Everything is a gift from a fan. With the exception of the logic and like the first stuff that I ever bought, everything's, everything is, uh, is gifts. Oh, that other guy's like, he does not give things away. <laughs> This is true. Okay, so there's there's one, and you would definitely have to have like some kind of walls and stuff. But like, doo -doo 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 oh gosh. All right, so your logic would have to be like a timer and a delay, and a timer and a delay. Um, hold on. Let's see if I can do this. Is this a, this is a sustain signal. I don't need a sustain, I need a delay. There we go, let's move this one. And this, like I said, this is just a concept, so. Um, whoa, wrong direction, hold on. Move, we're gonna go turn, turn. Oh gosh. Oh, what happened? No, that was right. I need to rotate, rotate. There we go. Silly. Okay. And let's just do a single push button. 
This would be the signal that you get from the um, verifying wood detectors on the opposite side. Um, hold on. It's not what we want. Uh, let's see. Maybe that is what I want. Is that what I want? I don't know if that's what I want or not. <laughs> Let's move this. There we go. Do that. Maybe. Oh, this is this is probably going to be completely wrong. I didn't think out the logic in my head. I just thought, oh, this would be cool. Let's just do this. Let's go to this down here. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, a little bit of lag. Not too bad. Just a little bit. Finished. There we go. There's one. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Move. All right, and let's do this one. It's gonna go up to like this little corner. And then we're gonna go back. My cool's all like, can I have some money? Please, let me have some money. Finished. So that should work, because that'll that'll drop down and then this will delay. Uh, we want this a little bit longer than that. Wait, right, is this the delay or is this the sustain? This is the sustain, and that's the delay. Okay, so that's cool. That's what we want, I think. However long that so that will go boom, it'll be on, and then it'll drain out into this one which will do, 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 and then allow the signal to go through so okay cool and move oh hello hello my glasses my cool aviator glasses all right let's go over right here oh that did not work the lag has got me uh by the way this is not going to be full what is going on here this is not going to be a full episode of Logic. This is just an idea that basically I dreamt about and thought this would be cool. Now I know there's been other people that have had um, the ball vending machines where the ball drops down, but this would actually be like you stack 10 axes in there and then like it's verified um, by dropping the wood in. Okay, so um, you would have a wedge or something Right down here, so it, it, the axe would not get stuck. Let's see. Uh-oh. That didn't work. That didn't work at all. In fact, that was that was a horrible demo. That was demo fail. Come back some. Whoa, where are you going, dude? Get back in there. Wait. Come here. Zoop. All right, let's try that again. It's not dropping. Why is it not dropping? I guess you would have to have it on like a conveyor belt of some kind, right? Hmm. 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 That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It's just floating in mid-air. Here, can I move? It's hacks. What? <laughs> who's who's saying it's hacks? What? I missed it. Oh my gosh, it's floating. That's that's what he's saying. Okay. Let's see. Let's move you right in there, like. Okay, I'm gonna have to readjust that. <laughs> Alright, this would come from a delay signal. Alright, so the hatch might not be a viable solution for a vending machine. 
finished. Might not be a good solution. All right, open it up. And the ax doesn't fall at all. That is silly. Those silly gooses. It moves avatars. That didn't work. <laughs> okay, let's try something else. Let's see if we can do it even cheaper and do it with conveyors. Conveyors and, uh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Here, let's just go ahead and move these out of the way. Hatches are good for doors. That's what hatches are good for. That's about it. <laughs> He's all like, work, work, work. It didn't work. Now, as soon as I move this, yep, the axe fell. Of course it did. Kind of wish it would uh, phase out, kind of like in Creativerse. Oh, by the way, if you've not seen Creativerse or if you don't know what Creativerse is, I highly recommend you go get it. It is free to play. It's a Steam game, free to download. Much like Minecraft, but it's not Minecraft. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's hit B on that. All right, let's do conveyors. Come here, conveyor belts. Boop. Move. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. All right. Is this, that's upside down, isn't it? I need to do, oh, I'm not gonna be able to do it like right there, am I? Let's see. Blink. All right, I need a wall. Where's a wall? Okay, uh, I can I can break this up because it doesn't really hold in things. All right. Come on, where you at? And turn, turn, rotate. There we go. Okay, that I should be able to hook up. Let's go right here, rotate, turn, turn. Come on, come on, because you're so nice. Oh, thank you. There's one. Now, I'm gonna move a second one in here, but it's going to be staggered. Why is it staggered, you ask? So we can push stuff to, like on and off of conveyor belts. Do, 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 do. We want it to go one at a time, but we want to do it logically. So, turn, turn. Is it turn? No, it's rotate, rotate. There we go. Um, let's do this. Come here. Come on. Come on, get on there. Get on there. I'm trying to line it up again. Conveyor belt lineups. You know what? Doesn't have to be lined up. It just has to be the same length. Yay! Okay. This might be completely logic. Code, do another episode and name it hashtag. <laughs> name an entire episode called hashtags. Whoa, dude. That was an awesome axe flip, but it did not land. All right, let's go. Whoa. Oh, it's so glitchy and laggy. I love it so much. All right, let's do rotate. Good. Why is it not allowing me to drop it on there? Do it, do it, do it. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, let's see. Right there's fine, that's fine. Because we're gonna move this downward. Move, uh, rotate, rotate, rotate. Actually, we can we can have all the logic on this side. That's cool. I'll just have to use an inverter to make it go opposite direction and stuff. Oh man, there we go. There we go. Sweet. Now, let's see here. Move. Let's go like this and turn, rotate. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. 
There we go. Yeah. Did that place? Please tell me that didn't disappear. Please tell me. No. Alright, move. And let's place this right here. I know you guys are talking in the video and stuff, but I, I really don't I don't sell the axes and stuff like that. Okay. So let's see. The idea behind this would be to get the logic set up so the axe would be sitting like this. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Zoom. Like that. There we go. Now I don't know what happened here, so I'm going to grab another wall piece. Uh, should we use gray? We absolutely should use gray. Hold on. I think I've got another wall somewhere. So I don't have to use gray wood. Wait, is this is this gray wood? No, that's a wood piece. What is this? That's that's palm wood, isn't it? Or birch. One of the two. Here, I've got pine. Hello, pine. There we go. Okay, let's do a blueprint and let's do a walls and a smooth wall. Come on, smooth wall. I need a smooth wall. I buy your gifts. No, I don't sell. I don't sell. There we go. There's that. Let's hit B. Get out of there. Excuse me. Boop. There we go. Sweet. Okay. And now this one would be turned backwards that direction. And. That one would be going like that. Okay. So. The idea behind this would be to stack, 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 get five, ten of them in there, something like that. And what would happen... Oh, this isn't going to work, is it? It still has to get bumped. Blink. And then that would turn back. And then this one would turn on. Bump. Dude, dude, don't step on the axes. Seriously? So you would still need to, to bump it somehow. This is the same problem that we have with um, with the wood moving. Like with the sliding doors. Hmm. Hmm. Unless you were having something constantly in motion. Would that be possible? Think. Yes, yes it is possible. Oh my goodness. Code, you're a genius, but it might be a little bit expensive. Boom, these, just like this. Okay, in order for a vending machine to work, you would have to have like a whole circle of these things, right? And it would be going around in circles. It'd be a constant circle for like all your axes and stacked up as many as say six tall, six, maybe 10, 15, 20. Dude, why are you kicking my pumpkin? I didn't tell you to stand on that, silly goose. <laughs> Hello, excuse me. Did he jump on it again? Don't jump on it, please don't jump on it. All right, let's go over this direction. Huh, will that work? Well, that's the that's the same as a turn. All right, let's let's move this. Move. Excuse me. <laughs> I just jumped up, jumped over his head. My bad. All right, let's drop this down right here, and let's change out. Oh, excuse me. And let's change out. Oh. <laughs> Would you like to move his head? No. Alright, let's change that out right here. Wait, what is that? That's not what I... <gasps> I just destroyed my wall, no! What was that all about? You, right there. You, yes, you. Switch conveyor. 
Come with me. How far along are we getting? We're, we're in 20 minutes. Wow. This is not going as planned, but none of my videos ever really do. Have you ever guys, have you guys ever seen me do like a full perfect video? I don't think it's ever happened. If you know of one, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, let's say Tarn. <coughs> let's do rotate. There we go. Just like that. All right, so the idea behind this would be you have another one stacked right below this. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, that's, it's still yours, dude. Oh, <gasps> thank you. If I can pick it up. <gasps> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Z-S-K-N-Z-S-X. Smiley face. Thank you. Um, I'm actually going to use this as the demo. So let's drop this down right there. So the axe will be in a constant state. Get off the thing, dude. No, 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 no. Hop off, dude. There you go. So this would be in a constant state of motion. When that signal comes up here, it'd have to do this to switch over, drop it down onto the next conveyor that's doing the same thing. Like you, you would have to have some way of detecting it hit and the next conveyor got it. See, once it got there, this would hit and drop back down like that. And then it would drop down on the next conveyor like that. Boom. Only turned opposite direction or something, right? That would be the idea behind an actual vending machine inside Lumber Tycoon 2. But as this is only a 30 minute episode, I'm not going to be able to build the whole thing, but I can show you the logic or the idea behind it. You could also do this with wood. You could do it with items. You could do it with, um, actually you could have an exchange. Like they put in so much wood and so much wood comes out. So like they put in spook wood and they get glow wood or they put in glow wood and they get spook wood or they put in blue wood and they get oak. It's just a thought. If you're done recording, now watch it. <laughs> Smiley face. Still recording. So, as it goes around, this would pop up like this. And then it would wait for... Dude, really? Really? Not cool. He's like, oops. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I know that my best, my, my best is so messy and so disorganized that stuff glitches out all the time. So it's understandable. I really should secure the stuff and like make it all proofed. But even if I were to proof, I think that would make me even more mad. If I were to proof everything and then something glitched out, I think I would be more mad. I don't think I, I get mad. I don't think I've ever gotten like truly mad. I don't think you guys have ever seen me get mad. So, <laughs> code for the win. Mm, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello. So, uh, let's see. Long plank. We have about five minutes. I could I could possibly do a long plank. Ooh. Because that's what we like to do. And I'm going to do it with Spookwood. Why not? All right, let's put it up to 0.4. Make it a little bit easier for everyone. That's not going to be big enough for a long plank, is it? Ooh. That'll be big enough. Oh, it's too heavy. I can't lift it all by myself. Hold on. Did you jump in my car? Okay, that's not my car. All right. We're going to do a Spookwood long plank for the win. Boop. Uh oh. Spook wood long plank for the stuck. Is what that is. It's stuck in there. That's. There we go. Sweet. Woohoo! Hershey bars for days. Heath bars. They're, they're Heath bars. That's what it is. Heath Haskins, Heath bars. See? Oh, by the way, big shout out to G Dad. Okay? 
family, uh, G rated family gaming. You've shouted me out on your stream like six or seven times. I love you, dude. Thank you so much. And you're so positive all the time. You made me a moderator over there. Amazing guy. If you guys haven't seen him, go check him out. What I was saying is like right after my you now, I was going to go and like try and get a collaboration with you going of some kind, but I, I've messaged you a couple times. So this is me shouting out to the world like, hey, G dad, I want to do a collab. Let's let's get in here. Let's do some uh, Lumber Tycoon 2. See if you like it. I know you've done a you've done a little bit of Lumber Tycoon 2. I don't know like what the extent is, but ouch, would love to get you in here and have you sign my base, sign your base. Just do some awesomeness. <laughs> uh, Abin is all like beautiful. Yes, it is beautiful. It is one of the most glorious, beautiful things to watch Spookwood turn into long plank. Boom. Is that it? That's it. All right, here we go. Here we go. <sighs> Grab. Oh my gosh. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. I can't, I can't even lift it. The mass is so large that I can't grab onto it and lift. That's a good thing though, right? That's... Oh my gosh. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. Come on up, dude. Come on up. So that that is heavy, heavy wood. The weight of spook wood is incredibly heavy. Let's see if I can lift this. I can't I can't even lift it. It's so heavy. Oh gosh. Don't glitch. Don't glitch. Don't glitch. Don't glitch. Don't glitch. But because it's weighted. Whoa, no, 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 Nelly. Woo, Nelly. She fell down again. Alright, let's try oh, actually. Let's try and get this thing across the uh the bridges. No, no, I dropped it. Dude, you were like so happy you added extra weight to it. I'm just kidding, it wasn't your fault. <laughs> I'll try and get this in between the uh, the two. So definitely not gonna be long planking with this thing anytime soon. I think pine would be the lightest wood. It's just a guess. And I think this this is gonna be too short. It's not gonna fit in between the two buildings. Nope. Well, Maybe. Nope. Alright, let's move it on down. Come on, move on down. Nope, it's just, ah, that is way too heavy. Can we turn it into two long planks? Possibly? Alright, let's go right in the middle. Even being long planks and thin, it takes forever to cut. What? Alright. Glorious. There we go. Nice heavy wood. Wow. Boink. Oh, that's that's like major tall. Okay. Let's go down some. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Boink. Oh, oh, nope, nope. Hold on, hold on. Don't jump on it yet. Don't jump on it while I'm... Ooh, there it goes. Boom. There's one long plank. Mm. Now I kind of wish I hadn't cut it because it... Looks like it might have reached. No, it, it couldn't. It couldn't reach. Oh, yeah, it it would not have reached. All right, down, down, down. There we go. Boom. Long planking. Right there. Woo. <laughs> so not too much going on with it, but there you have it. Um. Finally did some logic inside Lumber Tycoon 2, did the idea behind the logic, and for some reason I was thinking the hatches still worked. Am I missing something? Did they, did they, they worked at one time. Maybe, maybe I was testing that with, uh, I was testing that with elevators. Speaking of which, there's elevators now, which is amazing, and that's where they're, they're upside down and they fold down like this. And you have one come up, it pushes your avatar up, and you have a second one come up, and it pushes your avatar up, and pushes your avatar up, pushes your avatar up. So the guys that have made that, that logic is amazing, because it just goes, and you have an elevator all the way top. So, uh, episode ending? Yes, the episode is ending. <laughs>
So thank you for all your gifts on you now. Thank you for all your subs. Thank you for everything that you guys do for me, calling me a YouTuber. I mean, I'm still uncomfortable calling myself a YouTuber, even though like people are like, dude, you're at 44,000, you're 43,000. That's, that's amazing to me. That's like incredible. Like I did not realize that that number was going to mean so much to me. And it really does. Like you guys, you guys don't understand that is a, whew, somebody t told me, Hey, I just reached my hundred, uh, hundred subs. I'm like, dude, that is amazing. That's your first hundred subs. My first hundred subs were like an incredible feeling. People are out there. People wanted to watch me. I love you guys for it. So, all right, that's it. <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. No pressure to actually do so. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.